so we're looking into the engine compartment here and this water hose is the hose coming from the tank so I'm going to go ahead and progressively take off these zip ties and pull this tank hose and isolate it by pulling it into the salon here and then I'm going to go into the engine compartment and cut that line so I can start replumbing the line that comes from the tank. My name is Rick and I have a sailboat on the San Francisco Bay. Join me as I refit Sailing Vessel Frog's Leap with an eye towards taking her to warmer places. I get to spend only a few days each month on the boat. That's why I call the channel Marina Queen. Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Thursday morning. The last time I talked with you, I was pointing out a hose in the engine compartment that I was going to pull into the salon. Well, I did that, and, you know, I did a lot more with the hoses. The deal with hoses, it's a two-hand thing, man. You're pulling on either side of these hoses. You know, these hoses, these hoses, you know, these hoses, these hoses, these hoses, these hoses, these hoses. So this is the hose to the tank. So if you follow this hose and you follow it forward, you're gonna to get to the fresh water tank. You can see some tape up here in the in the shot. That's where I'm gonna cut it and marry it with the hose that's already there. That hose travels through some tight spots. So I'd rather just keep that hose there and connect to it. So really, I think I'm gonna be having fresh water in uh, yeah, May, when I go in May. I think so. If everything goes well, there could be a hiccup, so. Hey, <laughs> with me there's a hiccup. Oh, I forgot that this metric, uh, this metric thread count of the whatever, you know, I'm sure it's some bit of minutia that I'll, that I'll miss. No worries, that's all part of the journey. These out, these out, these out, these out, these out, these out. All right, well, I'm back in the engine compartment. I'm gonna try to take out this pressure manifold and this water pump. That'll really get things moving on this project. There it is. Whoa, there's the pressure manifold. So the, the pump receives water from a source, another pipe, and then it outputs water here, and then you get four slots with equal pressure. And uh, the way this worked was one went to the aft shower, one went to the kitchen, one went to the bathroom, and one went to hot water. And then hot water had two out, so we'll see that later. But there you go, pressure manifold, island packet 27. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Well, there's the water pump. Uh, I'm gonna have to find those other two feet or get a new one, but yeah. We'll see how this fits in its new location. I planned to follow my plan and I have an exhaustive plan. I think it had 21 phases to it. And you know, usually I only maybe get three or four phases of my plan done. So it's exhaustive, like it could rain, things could change. I'll have enough things to do. Today, I thought I was gonna be doing coolant on the engine. It just presented itself. I guess I felt I had the energy to get in the engine compartment and try to remove the, the pump and the pressure manifold and I was successful so that led to lots of other things so where am I now well I've got the plumbing basically laid out I've got the uh, water heater removed I've got the pump in its place but I didn't film a lot of it I didn't film really any of it because it was a lot of electrical chasing wires so zip tie work there was only a few moments of like yeah accomplishment <laughs> it's crazy because good zip tie work is so important yeah, so now I've just got the power cable to the bilge pump on that port bulkhead. Everything else there is fuel related. So you want some more of me and Daisy? You gotta press that subscribe button right now. They will. Just a couple episodes ago, I talked about three spots they took off of me. One above my eye, one some somewhere here in my chest, and there was another one on my neck. Well. Before I went on this trip, I had a follow-up visit with the dermatologist and it turns out one of the spot that was on my neck was in fact cancerous. Some kind of squeamish cell or <laughs> squamous cell, I don't know, they have weird names or everything. 
So they did this and they cut it out. And you, you can kind of see the the um, stitches. You can still see them, perhaps. And actually, every day, I'm supposed to put some Vaseline on that. So I'm going to do that now. This is actually not Vaseline, but I think Neosporin, Polysporin, any of, anything with Sporin at the end. Come on. It's got to be better than Vaseline, right? Yeah, well, hello everyone. Well, I'm back in Spokane. I'm in my garage now and I brought some things home from the boat on the last trip. One of them was, one of them I brought back were these island packet emblems. You'll remember I cut my finger on these things when I was trying to get them off. I'm going to go at them with this Dremel tool and I've got a couple of these wire wheels so like this one's got some angle and this one's a straight one i've never used these before so well we'll just see how they work i also went to windsor plywood because remember i cut out that area in the back of the quarter berth where the uh, water heater was and so i've got to cover that nicely right so i picked up this big piece of three eighths inch uh, marine grade plywood and eventually may, maybe not today probably today I'm just going to focus on these things but definitely need to cut that out to shape and then stain it make it look nice and we'll put it uh, back there in the quarter berth on my next visit These emblems didn't clean up as I expected. There's a really quite a bit of pitting corrosion going on. In fact, that's why I cut my finger, sliced it on one of the lips of the pit. The back of this thing came, uh, you know, the, adhesive, the dried adhesive just blew right off. That doesn't really do me too much good. I'm going to either have to fabricate something custom like I did with the cover of the old water heater space, or I'll just get the replacement ones that Island Packet sells. But they're, they're pretty spendy. Well, let's see, this week uh, I rebuilt the water pump on that Yanmar, Yanmar 2 GM20F engine. I've removed the water heater. I yank, yanked the freshwater plumbing out of the engine compartment. That was huge. You got to stick around for this episode next week because, you know, when I came back to Spokane, I'm thinking about that wider opening that I put in the quarter berth. I've got to do something classy. I've got to do something respectful of the brand, something that looks right in there. And I think I did that. So I'm super excited to show that uh, to you guys. And in addition to showing off the new a water heater space cover. I'm also going to be installing the new raw water pump, got a new one, and then also going to finish plumbing the fresh water system. And then also I want to do a drain and flush on the engine coolant. And then I want to change all of the flexible hoses on that engine. Oh, and I also have to put in a new temperature sender. So hey, there's a lot to be done. I'm excited. If you know somebody who might think this is pretty cool content, definitely share it. I'm all about it. I'll see you guys next week on the boat. New episode every Sunday. I'm not as think as you confused I am.